Today, I'm gonna show you a crazy fast and easy way to make a custom resin pendant like this one. Stay tuned. Okay, this is a crazy fun and really easy skill to get into. It takes very little time to do, cheap money to get into, and you get to be really creative with it. All right, so if you are completely new to the concept of UV resin like I am, let me give you the, the Cliff's Note version of what this is. UV resin is just a special kind of resin that cures underneath a UV light. This stuff is really cool with a bunch of different applications. Like it's used to fix chipped windshields and because it does cure so quickly, it can be used for fast repairs, almost like an adhesive. And of course, for the application we're using it for today, it can be used to make all types of cool charms and pendants. All right, so for this project, I bought this UV resin from Amazon, as well as this UV flashlight to cure it. I've also seen a lot of people use these little dome lights that are usually used to cure like the resin on fingernails for this. Whatever you decide to use, I'm pretty sure as long as it's a UV light, it's gonna do the trick. Heck, it even says in the bottle you can use the biggest UV light, the sun. How's that for a cheap startup cost? I also have a bunch of cool little bits and baubles left over from other projects that I'm gonna use to decorate this pendant. These include this really cool oblong shaped metallic bezel, these really colorful little dried flowers, I think they're called baby's breath, I'm pretty sure, and a collection of mink and mouse bones I got from a curio shop for when I was making my druid staff. Which seems like a weird mixture on the face of it, but it's perfect for the concept of memento mori that this is based off of. A memento mori is basically a thing that reminds you of how fleeting life is, so you know to enjoy the moments you have. Common symbols in this motif are like bones to remind you of death, flowers which usually have a really short lifespan anyways, candles which burn out, hourglasses, you get the idea. Things that are short or remind you that time is short. And though some may find that morbid or depressing, it's not meant to be, it's more just an affirmation that you should be living life to the fullest while you can. Okay, so the first thing I do to make this thing is position these tiny little rib bones within this bezel in a shape that I like. Next, I dip into these flowers and make this itty bitty bouquet here. This I also position within the space just to figure out how everything should fit together. Finally, I throw in some loose florets just to fill in the space and make it feel like maybe like a breeze is blowing the flowers around. Just trying to give the whole thing a bit more like motion and interest. This isn't me pretending I know what I'm doing. Give it more motion and interest. I think it looks cool, whatever. Okay, so happy with that, I slowly started to add my UV resin into the mix. Now, while I was doing this, some of my decorations decided to move around on me a little bit, but this was not a big deal and easy to correct with a toothpick. I also went back in with a needle just to try to get rid of any air bubbles that were floating around. I have since learned that a better trick to get rid of those little air bubbles is with like a tiny torch lighter. Apparently just kind of brushing it over the surface will pop those little bubbles. Also, you don't really have to worry about trying to fill in the different spaces by moving your resin bottle around. If you just kind of pour it into the middle, the resin will find its, its level and, and spread out everywhere it needs to be. All right, cool. So with everything in place, the last thing to do is to hit this sucker with some UV light. Now this stuff does heat up and gas off a little bit as it goes. So make sure you're in a well-ventilated space and don't hold it in your hands because it does get pretty hot. But this thing took seriously about three minutes and bam, look at that. That's really cool and I love me some instant gratification. So like just a few minutes, you can have your own custom little pendant however you want. And also what you just witnessed was my very first time trying this at all and I think it came out pretty cool. I mean like people who know what they're doing can definitely make a better pendant than I did, but I really like this thing. And with time, my creations will only get better. But yeah, this is definitely a really fun and easy skill that I recommend you give a try. Now, I hope you liked what you saw here. If you did, why don't you hit me some of the thumbs up love and don't forget to subscribe so you know when I release new content. All right, I got like 20 minutes to kill, so I'm gonna make like six more of these things. It's awesome. In the meantime though, keep leveling up, you.